Hi there, my name's Jeremy. Welcome to the Sax Tuition YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you four tips for using the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. Now, tip number one is a fairly simple one, but it's also very important, and that is to have your saxophone with you as you're following along with the video lessons. Now, one of the main goals of the Sax Tuition Beginner Series is to give you that one-to-one -one natural learning experience, just like you'd get if you were studying with a tutor at their studio. And so to be able to capture that at home, the best thing that you can do is to have your sax with you pause and rewind the lesson where you need to, and then actually practice along with the new techniques and the new pieces as they're introduced so that they're fresh in your mind and that it's easily transferred onto your instrument. So for tip number two, if you have a secondary device like perhaps a tablet or another computer, I highly recommend that you load the ebook onto that second device so that as you're following along with the video lessons, you can also follow along with the pieces and the exercises in the book. So just remember that the book, the videos, and the play along tracks all work together to give you that seamless experience. So if you can have them close by, that will really help you out. So tip number three is a little more technical, and that is to drag the play along tracks folder into iTunes or your media player of choice all the tracks are numbered, so when you do that, they should all appear in order, and you'll find that easier to access them, to be able to pause and rewind them, and of course, to look up a song if you're after something in particular to practice. So tip number four is a classic recommendation from a music teacher, and that is to practice with a metronome. Now, if you're already playing with the play along tracks or the video, then it won't be so important. But if you're practicing it by yourself, without any of those things, then the metronome can really bring an extra focus to your practice. And of course, it helps you to develop your rhythmic ability and develop your sense of time. So you don't have to go into the music store necessarily and buy a physical metronome. You can go to your smartphone's app store and there are plenty of good free metronome options on there. Or alternatively, you can go to www.metronomeonline.com, which has a perfectly good working metronome on their homepage. And so you can add that to your bookmarks and have one wherever you have your computer. Well, that's it, everyone. Those are the four tips for using the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please also subscribe to the Sax Tuition YouTube channel. We'll have lots of interesting videos, general interest videos about the saxophone, things to do with technique, and we'll have snippets from the Sax Tuition Beginner Series too. The most important thing, if you haven't already, is to try out lesson one of the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. It's free on YouTube, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all again soon.